On this episode of Black Tip H, we're here with Robert Borrego. We got the kite up. We're gonna try to catch some sailfish, some kings, and whatever else bites. For sure. Oh, we're marking good. Really good. Oh, flying, flying fish can chase. There's mahi. There's mahi over there. They're you falling mahi. The mahi. They're falling mahi. You saw the mahi? I saw the flying fish getting chased up. Do we? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta build it up, you know? <laughs> there we go. Let him run, let him run. There you go. What's going on here? Is there still a fish? Oh, it's a mahi! Mahi! Oh my gosh! I'll bring him on this side, okay? Hold on. We got a dinner fish on. Did he cross over? Oh, uh, he's good now. He's good, he's good. Keep him in the water, right? Keep him in the water. So we got a little mahi on right now. He uh, ate the goggle eye. I thought it was a king. I thought he thought he'd cut me off. He was all slack. He was swimming toward the boat. Got real tight and he just flew out of the water. Flipper. The flipper. There he's gonna flip him in. There we go. All right, here we go, guys. This is called the ma this is called mahi wrangling right here. You gotta get on him like this. All right, we got him. All right. Yeah, you ain't so tough anymore, buddy. Look at that dolphin, guys. What a pretty fish. All lit up. Man, he ate a big bait. This fish ate a huge bait for his size. Yeah. There we go, there we go. That's a snapper. Bonita? I think it's a snapper. Ooh. Oh, it's a little bullet bonita. A kingfish followed him up. And that right there is a killer kingfish and wahoo bait. Here we go, fish on. Dude, as I was dropping the jig, he just crushed it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he literally ate it as I was dropping it. Oh, it's a bigger fish. Or he's sideways. Oh, <laughs> he just woke up. <laughs> is that a king? I don't know what it is. I think it's a little king. I see color, I see color. It's not a cobia, maybe. I, mean, I think it's a king, get, get the gaff, get the gaff. Yeah, it's a little king. It's a little king, but I don't want to lose him. He's off. Here he is. All right, nice king. That's a really nice kingfish on a little jig right there. I wasn't expecting that. As you can see, those really sharp teeth right there. You know that there's a big movement right now for uh, jigging for swordfish? Really? Yep, we should try it. They put, they put 50, uh, put all, like 50, uh, 65 pound braid on 50 wides, like a thousand, like 2,000 yards, whatever. And then they put them in the outriggers, the digs, and they just drop them down. And then just let it sit and the swordfish eat it. There we go, fish on, nice fish on. Fish. Nice That's fish. a nice one. Oh man, nice fish. This is a really good one, guys. This thing feels heavy. I have no idea what this is. What? Bonita? I don't know. I, all I see is the jig. I don't know. This is a miserable fish or something. There's something floating on it. I don't know what it is. Little bonita, no? I think it is. Dude! Oh, that's why. Oh, that it? explains <laughs> it right there, guys. That explains everything. Like, how can this fish pull so hard? You snag a little bonita like that, you better be ready for action. Oh my gosh. There's a ton of fish on the fish finder. I'm gonna drop this jig down. I'm thinking seconds it's gonna take. Here we go. Oop. Here we go. Jig's going down. Oh. He's getting nervous. Think someone picked him up? Yeah, something's got him. Oh yeah, that fish is just a fish on right there. Yeah, it feels pretty heavy. Dark? Oh yeah. I'm gonna stop picking up the other stuff, huh? This could be a while. It's definitely a good fish. It's heavy. I'm thinking it's a shark. But Robert thinks and is hoping and praying 
that we got a 70 pound Kobe on here. So it's possible. I don't think so. I think we got old Sharky here. This is pretty light tackle guys, so uh, this is not this is not shark fishing gear here, so we're definitely at a disadvantage. Yeah, he just woke up. Wants to run now. Now we're at the front of the boat. This is gonna be a long fight, guys. This is gonna be I'm probably gonna fight this fish for an hour. So I was very happy with my little jig and my little rod. And then uh, I was just trying to catch a, a big kingfish. But the sun is setting and I got a feeling because he's still extremely green. Um, we're gonna be fighting the fish into the dark. This is why guys, you should never fish light tackle when you're shark fishing. This is obviously an accident, but we're still gonna land them. But you always wanna use very heavy gear <sighs> because otherwise you're gonna fight him for hours. He's gotta be like 20 feet and 20 yards, like, like, like less than 100 feet away. He's right there. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh, I see him. This is a big bull shark, guys. This is the hardest I've ever worked to catch a bull shark. I mean, it's a big bull shark, but if I had my 130, this fish, we, we would have already been had. We, we would have already eaten dinner by now. Isn't that right? This is more sporty. This is very sporty. Where is he? <sighs> there he is! Oh, nice bull shark, dude. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. Oh. Look at him. He's under the boat. Yeah. You got him for the boat, though. Good job. <laughs> <sighs> that was a good job. I and mean, we got into the boat. We, we touched the leader. I like to always touch my fish, though. Technically, in tournament rules, that's that a caught release? fish. The best thing, that, thing is, though, he's out there. He's still alive. We didn't fight him too long. It's not good to fight these big sharks for hours and hours and hours. We fought him for well over an hour. I mean, we, 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 caught, we hooked the fish when it was day. It's nighttime now. We got on rips of the boat. The line popped. It's only 30 pound. Mono, so there's only so much you can do with that on a, what do you think that was? Three, 400 pound shark? At least 400 pounds. Yeah, 400 pound shark right there, guys. That was, that was a big one. Good so, job. It was fun. All right. I'm tired. I want to go eat dinner now. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Black Tip H Fishing is brought to you by Tackle Direct, world's premier fishing outfitter. Bull Buster brand direct fishing lines and Southern Fin Apparel. So Jason's hooked up to his first black tip shark. Man, this fight is out of this world. The strength is just brute strength.